All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk about JavaScript substring. Uh, so this is kind of like a tutorial for absolute beginners and what is substring. So a string in JavaScript is just a set of characters that, um, that you just create with uh, single quotes or double quotes and you can actually use template strings too to create them. But what you want to do sometimes is get a part of that string and that is what substring will do for you. So let's just, throw up an example right away I'll just say console.log um, sub1 just so you can see which which uh, thing this is and I'll say s1 dot substring and then the first uh, argument is going to be the beginning of the index and then the second argument is going to be the end of it so we'll say uh, substring 0 3 um, so that was from 0 and then to 1 2 3 so how does this work exactly? Uh, it if you go check out the Mozilla Mozilla Developer Network uh, web docs, um, you're going to see that string dot substring substring is a method on every string. So remember, JavaScript's basically object oriented. So if you've got a string on the prototype of string is substring, so you can you can use this method. Uh, it's index start index end, and then this indicates that index end is uh, optional. I think you saw that because it started doing this before I had finished. So if you did something like console.log uh, sub2, and I'm just doing these so you can see the difference in the console over here, um, we'll say s1.substring. Uh, we'll start at 3, and then that'll be it. Start at 3. Okay. So that means by default I just went to the end of the string if I only did the first if I cut out the first part so that's one kind of nice thing about substring in JavaScript and then there is another method called sub str uh, those are very different um, so we'll talk about that in another video but substring uh, has a couple other interesting things uh, let's let's just give these a try so there there's some important parts to know about substring uh, console.log, let's just log out S1, um, so you can see S1 will still be coffee. So it's important to note that if you want to get the result of the substring, you have to put it into a value. So I'll say const uh, sub equals S1 dot substring uh, from, let's say, from 0 to 3, and then I'll say sub is... Uh, sub um, and then the value is going to be returned from substring it doesn't modify the string in place so that's very important to know if you put this on a line and you don't assign it to anything nothing will happen right because it, it it's in a, it's going to return a value but if you don't return the value into anything nothing happens so it's very important if you want to use the output to put it into something because it's not going to modify the string in place you can see if we do console log here the string is untouched um, there are some other uh, things you can do uh, console.log let's say um, s2 uh, dot sub let's just say let's do s2 here let's say sub string um, and we'll do, we'll say five and then negative five. Let's see what happens here. This will be interesting. All right, so if I did negative five, it actually started um, from the end and then it went to the beginning. So there are other weird things. You can put negative numbers in here. Um, just be cognizant of that fact. So that is JavaScript substring. Uh, if you liked it, subscribe, like it, etc. Thanks for watching.